and our speaker let me, let's warm up a little bit let's give a round of applause to each other ladies and gentlemen let us give it to each other thank you so much and we are present at the 18th assembly healthy moscow and the assembly gives us a unique opportunity to exchange best practices with people from absolutely different spheres of the world experts in the sphere of healthcare and our next honorary guest our speaker is a person who you probably heard about and let us learn more about what he has done and who is his person please your attention to the screen Yoshinori Asumi scientist Nobel laureate author of the intermittent fasting technique Doctor of Science in Tokyo in, since 1974, worked in New York University of Rockefeller, then returned back to the Tokyo University since 1998. He was the head of the research group since 2009, professor of Tokyo Technological Institute. In 2016, biologist received the Nobel Prize for autophagy mechanism. Asinori Asumi have been working in this sphere for more than 20 years. Please welcome on the 18th Assembly, Healthy Moscow, Yasinori Asumi. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Before we start, one question. Uh, please tell us about your impression of Moscow, of okay. uh, yeah. the Assembly. Actually, this is the first time I visit uh, this country in Moscow. Yeah, my impression, uh, I have uh, short time to, be, uh, to uh, glance the uh, Moscow city, but uh, my impression is a uh, great city. It's a historical nice place and beautiful and active city, I suppose. Yeah. Thank you very much. Your applause, dear friends. Okay, now I will start. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to be here and to have an opportunity to talk about um, uh, our, our work in autophagy today. Okay, let me start. Oh, my. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Life is uh, maintained as a equilibrium state between uh, synthesis and degradation of proteins. And recycling is so essential for life. So my talk today is a uh, simple conclusion. Degradation is as important as synthesis for life. Today I would like to talk about how I launched into the autophagy research in using yeast cell. Okay. As you see here, I worked on long term in a small, tiny yeast cell. And I started yeast work as a bacchio. At that time, Bakio was sold just uh, garbage of their uh, cell. So not so many people interested in the Bakio function at that time. That's one reason I want to start the uh, uh, work on Bakio. Now, you know, almost everyone knows Bakio occupies a very large volume, in, especially in plant cell. But why? Not so many people ask why uh, Bakul is so large. So this picture is a 
East Bakyo. And this is an acidic compartment. Inside is acidic and contains various kinds of hydrolytic enzymes like uh, mammalian lysosome. So my first uh, question is uh, this uh, just a simple round organelle is a compartment uh, of the uh, protein degradation. And if it is true, the problem I had, a question I had is uh, what and when and how uh, cytosolic protein get into the lytic compartment inside the vacuole. When, so uh, this figure is the starting point of my work. If I you, uh, put the E cell to the nitrogen starvation medium, I expected massive protein degradation to be occurring within each cell because each cell do, uh, perform a very dynamic uh, uh, cellular mod mod remodeling because it's a pro induced uh, sporulation. So I, I, if I use a protein is deficient mutant cell I found this kind of quite interesting phenomena. As you see here, left side, and after three hours, you can see many, many spherical structures get into the vacuum and accumulate. As you see here, they move so vigorously, moving around within vacuum. So I thought this is a very interesting phenomenon. So, we started the uh, electron microscopic uh, analysis of this phenomenon. What I found is, you, as you see here, uh, this is a bacterial membrane. Next to the bacterial membrane, I can see the cup-shaped membrane structure just uh, end up being a portion of the cytoplasm. And we saw this kind of uh, uh, structure, just a double membrane structure is uh, fused with the vacuolar membrane shown over there. And the spherical structure within vacuole, those are structures you saw in the movie, they are moving around in the side slope. From these kind of uh, electron microscopic studies, we drew this kind of picture for auto, autophagy in the East. If East cell face a starvation condition, suddenly small membrane uh, suck up, uh, appear and end up a portion of the site, so make a double membrane structure, autophagosome. Autophagosome get in, uh, target to the vacuolar membrane, and the fusion event occur between autophagosome and the vacuole. And in a membrane structure, it's taken up to the vacuolar sub. Uh, those structure is immediately disrupted in the uh, viral types vacuole. But if I, I use the vacuolar proteinase deficient mutant cell, I could see the process of uh, progression of the uh, autophagy just under light microscopy. That was a starting point of my work on autophagy. So after finding this uh, discovery of this phenomena, our group still working what's going on, why this kind of uh, uh, phenomena occur within cell, that our uh, point. So once we found this kind of uh, phenomena, the next question for me is, uh, what is the responsible gene and what is the responsible protein to make this kind of membrane dynamics within cell. So we started the genetic dissection 
of the process of autophagy by isolating the autophagy defect mutant cell. So if once we could get the autophagy defect mutant cell, we can say uh, what kind of gene and what kind of proteins are responsible for those genes. So I have no time to go in detail, but we found autophagy in yeast requires 18 80 genes essential for autophagy in yeast. And we found these ATG genes are essential for making autophagosome, that's a quite unique membrane structure and under starvation condition. So we started analyze of the ATG genes and uh, what is the uh, ATG protein encoded by these genes. And first we found those genes are and no, all, um, almost all genes were novel genes. We couldn't say anything about their function. But several years, we found these ATG proteins uh, are required for autophagous formation. And it's, they divided into six functional groups, as shown here. One is the ATG1 kinase complex, protein, one is a uh, PI3 kinase complex, and two are, uh, and we found interesting two ubiquitin-like conjugation system that conjugate protein to protein and protein to lipid. So that was, it took a long time, but that was helped a lot to understand the molecular mechanism of autophagy. And this is our, our current overview of the uh, autophagous formation in yeast. 18 ATG genes product, uh, I said six functional groups uh, sequentially uh, come to the vacuolar membrane and make a membrane structure and a proportion of the site so. And also, now, uh, recently, uh, structure biology helped a lot to understand the molecular detail of the autophagy uh, protein. Fortunately, collaboration with the uh, Inagaki in in and the Noda's group, we solved almost all ATG gene protein structure that help a lot to understand the molecular detail of the uh, autophagous formation. And recently, I will just show, so, say about the triggering of the autophagy. Under starvation condition, uh, found, we found ATG13 is a key molecule that the dephosphorate under starvation condition, that trigger this kind of uh, large membrane, uh, this organella formation next to the vacuole. That is just uh, quite recently, many people interested in the liquid liquid phase separation that is also involved in the machinery of the autophagosome formation shown here. So, ATG 13, ATG 1, 29, 30, 29, 31 complex uh, form uh, a quite large membrane, uh, less organella shown here, we called PASS. And it took a long time to understand all of the ATG protein. Recently, uh, molecular structure analysis uh, uh, revealed uh, one of the ATG protein. We didn't know ab about the function of ATG, ATG2. Uh, we solved a portion of the ATG2 and that uh, the lipid uh, binding protein. And we found those are very important uh, pro protein to uh, deliver 
lipid molecule to the autophagosomal membrane. So it, uh, now we understand al almost all ATG protein function. So uh, present stage of auto <coughs> East autophagy, we understand the molecular detail of the structure and the function of ATG protein. Uh, now we have many uh, structurally and functionally we could get the how membrane biogenesis and morphogenesis occurs within cells. However, we need many, many more information about the quantitative analysis of the autophagy. We need, for example, what is the induction condition? Uh, nitrogen starvation, not only nitrogen starvation, carbon starvation, uh, sulfate starvation, and even I will show later zinc starvation, many, many kinds of starvation condition uh, induce autophagy. But we need more uh, systematic analysis of the autophagy induction condition. And also, we need uh, about the regulation, how autophagy start and how it's uh, dropped off. And also, we need more detailed analysis of the degradation product. I will later uh, show you autophagy is not only the protein degradation, it degrades many, many kinds of uh, molecules such as uh, RNA and lipids. So we need uh, what is the degradation product within vacuole and how to get out from the vacuole to the site soil. And we should know about the, what kind of uh, effect appear those kind of degradation products. So we need more an, uh, systematic analysis of the metabolic uh, influence via autophagy. So even in yeast, we have so many fundamental questions to be answered. However, once we got the ATG genes in yeast, that changed a lot about the uh, autophagy research in various kinds of organisms. First, we can say, well, the, one of the difficulty to understand autophagy was we need uh, electron microscope to uh, detect the autophagosome. So that was one reason uh, autophagy was not the uh, uh, subject of the molecular biology. But once we got the ATG genes, ATG protein, we can easily observe the autophagy in mammalian cell. My colleague, uh, Nobel Mr. Schimmer, first uh, constructed the autophagy, one of the autophagy genes, LC3-GFP, uh, transgenic mouse, they uh, express AT, uh, ATG protein in every uh, cell body. Using this mouse was distributed all over the world and helped a lot to understand uh, where autophagy occurs. As you see here, once we can we use this kind of um, transaging mouse, we can easily say where autophagosome are formed and how much. Uh, for example, muscle cell, liver cell, fertilized eggs, and so on. So that's what helped a lot uh, about the autophagy in mammalian cell. And also, once we got the ATG genes, we can manipulate those genes to or make a knockout mouse. And if you delete the autophagy function, 
in a uh, whole mouse, you can say what happened easily by um, genetic uh, formation of the autophagy uh, knockout mass. First example was uh, obtained by Nobel Mizushima work. He, he made the ATG5 double knockout mouse. And what we found is that if we delete ATG genes, completely from the mouse, they can uh, deliver, but after birth, those mouse uh, completely die after, within 12 hours. That means autophagy is essential for uh, survival for mouse. So, you cannot use a knockout mouse to uh, make uh, to see their, what is the function of autophagy in adult mouse. But those kind of uh, ATG genes, identification of G ATG genes, uh, suddenly uh, induce the burst of autophagy work in mammals. Uh, now we know autophagy is essential for uh, starvation adaptation because there, after birth, uh, mammalian. Потому что клетки млекопитающих в условиях голодания требуют определенное время для восстановления. Поэтому аутофагия. We found if knock, if we knock out ATG genes in the neuronal cell, we can see the uh, accumulation of the harmful protein aggregate within uh, nerve cell, and those mouse behave like a neuro generative disease model. So that means autophagy is very important for clearance of a harmful protein or uh, organelle to survive those kind of situation. And also to autophagy is required for the elimination of invasive bacteria uh, escaped from the and the sum. Those uh, bacteria is enlapped by autophagosomal membrane and fused to the bacchio uh, lysosome. Those uh, bacchio, uh, bacteria is eliminated. So autophagy is essential for that kind of uh, infectious disease. And also we found autophagy is essential for the early development of mouse because uh, maternal egg protein should be uh, degraded uh, during the early embryology, uh, embryogenesis. So if we knock out the ATG genes, auto, uh, autophagy knockout mouse cannot uh, develop early. Uh, they stop embryogenesis at the early stage. And also, many people interested in the autophagy, its relevance to cancer cell, because cancer cell has a specific uh, metabolic, uh, metabolism, and those uh, cancer cell requires uh, act active autophagic activity. So if you block the autophagic activity of the cancer cell, they cannot proliferate properly. So probably many people now interested in the uh, autophagy as a target to the uh, tumor suppression. And also many people now interested in the longevity 
uh, of the autophagic uh, mutant. And now many, many organisms, it is known autophagic defect mutants uh, has a short lifespan. That means properly autophagy is related to the, to the longevity. But we don't know yet exactly that's a true in human. So we need more careful analysis. What is the uh, relevance of autophagy to longevity in human? That is uh, most people interested in uh, this field right now. So now, as I, I, I want to emphasize uh, the first slide I showed the degradation is uh, as important as the synthesis. That means the uh, degradation is so, via uh, autophagy, the so fundamental function of membrane cell. So I think uh, still many people now discover, uh, finding the autophagy is relevant. So, so many physiological fun, uh, activity of the cell or organism. So, probably in near future, we will find autophagy is related to so many physiological events in cell. That mean that not directly say autophagy is the cause of the uh, cancer. Autophagy is the cause of the neurodegeneration. But I believe autophagy is so fundamental function of the uh, degradation is so uh, fundamental function of our cell. So it must be that uh, abnormality of the degradation synthesis uh, re, uh, relation that will uh, induce many, many kind of abnormality in our body. So uh, we can say now there are uh, two major functions of autophagy. One is a nutrient recycling that is very essential for survival under starvation condition. And so uh, amino acid for protein synthesis, energy source for survival, those are uh, uh, produced uh, by nutrient uh, recycling. And also uh, another important function of autophagy is uh, elimination of excessive or harmful material from the site. So, so autophagy is very important for quality control of the cell. Uh, for this purpose, we need selective degradation, some specific protein, protein, protein aggregate, super a molecular complex like a ribosome, and also important thing is auto. We have at least two major protein degradation system in our cell body. One is a uh, ubiquitin proteasome system, but this system is very uh, strict control. What is the target of the deg for degradation? But autophagy has a more bulk degradation of the big organism or a portion of the site, so as shown here. So that is also so these two major protein degradation system is very uh, different role for um, our uh, cell life. So. Uh, autophagy is essential for those kind of the degradation of mitochondria, paroxysome, and a portion of the size, uh, uh, nucle nucleus or something like that. So those are uh, uh, 
selectable autophagy are related to various kinds of disease and health problems. So, as you see here, this is a, uh, a paper appeared in the pub, uh, web of science. I told you I started autophagy work in 1988. At that time, only 20 papers appeared all over the world about autophagy. Now autophagy becomes so hot field in cell biology as shown here. More than 10,000 papers appear every year these days. So I want to say, when I started an uh, autophagy work, I didn't expect autophagy might be relevant to the various kinds of diseases such as cancer or neurodegenerative and so on. But this is uh, uh, many times happen in the basic biology. Uh, so someone should start this kind of uh, subject before it's not a popular stage. So I want to, uh, uh, to say the youngest generation think about uh, popular topics is popular already. So someone should challenge not so popular problem right now. And also, I, for, I'm a basic biologist, and I'm very happy the autophagic field has become a so big field and many people interested in the autophagy field right now. But I want to say, uh, uh, still we uh, have many, many problems to be solved. So I will just switch to the mammalian autophagy a little bit. As I said, autophagy is required for the uh, starvation adaptation at the birth and also that is very important for early embryology and also that is important for elimination of the uh, protein aggregate and many, many uh, harmful structure and mitochondria, uh, damaged mitochondria is taken up by autophagosome to eliminate. And also probably many people here interested in the uh, tumor suppression via autophagy. And this slide was made by Nobel Mizushimer. This shown the autophagy relevance to the uh, human disease uh, patient. And one interesting uh, point is that parking is um, uh, related to uh, pa Parkinson's disease. Those are found to uh, involve in the mitophagy, mito mitochondrial uh, degradation via autophagy. So once these kind of things happen, many people interested in the uh, Parkinson's disease as it is uh, by relation to their uh, mitophagy induction. As you see here, many groups worked on this phenomenon, and that is shown the mitophagy is very important for Parkinson's disease. And this finding, uh, so many people now interested in the uh, Parkinson's disease, and many people are working on how mitophagy uh, regulation uh, occur during this process. And also, now, not uh, especially in the United States and England, many people interested in the autophagy as a uh, target of their drug discovery, and many, many uh, clinical trials is 
started an autophagy inhibition and also autophagy induction. And now, as you see here, uh, many groups working on the uh, drug inhibition inhibitor of the autophagy, some, something like uh, chloroquine. Now it's uh, already clinical stage, uh, trial stage. And also, uh, many people interested in the autophagy by induction of autophagy because uh, during aging, autophagic activities go down. So that, that might be the reason uh, neurodegenerative disease or age-related diseases. So many people interested in the uh, autophagy induction drugs for those kind of uh, treatment of their age-related diseases. So, but I want to say uh, our body uh, made so many uh, kind of different types of cell, and different type cell has a different regulation and the mechanism of autophagy. So, just the uh, uh, enhancement or inhibition of autophagy might not be sufficient for uh, good autophagy drugs. So, we need more information about how autophagy is regulated in each cell type that might be important to get a specific uh, uh, autophagy regulating drugs. So, in East, I, I'm saying it, uh, we know about the autophagy about 50%. And uh, my colleague Nobu said, we know about the autophagy in mammary cell probably less than 20%. We need more and more works on the autophagy in mammary cell to understand what is autophagy. So one, uh, one thing we should solve is that we need more quantitative analysis uh, method for the autophagy mammals. That is very uh, important aspect of autophagy in this. We don't have a very good assay system of autophagy. And especially for human, we need more uh, without any gene manipulation or uh, tissue sampling. We want to have a how, how much autophagy occurs within every cell type of, in our body. And also, we need more uh, uh, works on the specific compound to regulate uh, autophagy, as I said. So those kind of uh, study will uh, narrow in the target of disease for autophagy drug de delivery. Okay, I already I'm work already working on 31 years on autophagy in the East. Oh, it took so long time, but I want to say that was a narrow and winding path. But I want to say. Uh, my research is not, I, at the beginning, I never expected uh, East autophagy work will uh, induce uh, mammary and autophagy or it's related to cancer or neurodegeneration. That always happened in the basic research. We don't have a uh, those kind of uh, basic research help a lot to uh, develop a new field. That is a way uh, basic research contribute to their uh, medical research. 
and I had uh, many, many rockiness and uh, many, many uh, rockiness. One is uh, I had the very excellent colleagues and the collaborators, and we, we, we I could continue at least 31 years just you know, in auto, in auto, autophagy research in using yeast. Uh, I want to emphasize this kind of basic research takes time to become a hot field in science. I shown in this uh, graphic. Uh, so in my case, it took 20 years to become a hot field when I found the autophagy genes. So we need more long-term uh, uh, perspective for their basic research. And also, many people ask me, why you uh, so long time continue East autophagy? My answer is I could I have so many questions to be solved. And also, uh, during these 30 years, we have a lot of the uh, development of excellent uh, uh, technology that help a lot to understand the autophagy research. Microscopy, when I started, that was uh, just a uh, simple observation and the uh, phase microscope. But now we have many good uh, instruments to observe the cell. And that helped a lot to understand the autophagy and genetics uh, helped a lot to understand. And also biochemical research is essential to understand the detail of um, uh, autophagy work. And now we know the, we understand, we have a um, good mass spec analysis. We can say many, many detail of the autophagic degradation right now. That, so uh, uh, 30 years ago, I had a question, but I could not uh, have no uh, analysis too. But now, uh, these 30 years, we had the new techniques to develop, uh, development help a lot to understand the uh, new aspect of the autophagy machinery. So this is my last slide. I hope the, for the future, I, I want to emphasize the importance of re, uh, basic research uh, to uh, start up the new uh, subject and that uh, will help the uh, expansion of human knowledge. So for that purpose, uh, we, I hope a society that encourages exploration and the challenging of the uh, new theory, uh, established theory, and that need not short-term use usefulness. So we need a long term mechanism to develop a new field. And I hope uh, society requires a spreading on uh, scientific way of thinking and about the world. Uh, con uh, and that will I want to say the society that appreciate science, uh, that just not uh, usefulness, but as uh, one of the culture, like uh, uh, music uh, or painting or anything. So 
that my he, I want to say at this moment. Thank you for attention. I will take uh, uh, any questions. Wow. Hey. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause again. And now we have questions from the audience. And I believe that there is a group of first pe people who want to ask questions. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, before you ask your question, please introduce yourself, Mr. Sumi, to feel fine about that. So let us get ready to listen to the Russian translation. Just a second. I will give you the headset. I can ask the question in English if that's okay. Wow. <laughs> Do you? Hello, my name is uh, Igor Igorov. I'm a student at the University of Manchester in England. And uh, my question to you is, is that you've made some excellent points in your presentation about the essential uh, means of autophagy in cellular homeostasis and healthy living in normal cells. Mm. But coming from an oncological perspective, is there exactly a fine line between uh, targeting cancer and at the same time not affecting healthy normal cells because how essential these ATG genes are in autophagy? Mm. Yeah, probably we need more careful analysis of the metabolism of the cancer cell. So that the reason the auto, uh, cancer cell is different from the uh, autophagy. And also that exactly the um, uh, stem cell may, has a different um, metabolism. So that's the reason we need careful analysis to what uh, to understand the autophagy in every cell types. So uh, I am not a specialist in the cancer cell, but in my opinion, we need more careful uh, method to analyze the autophagy. For example, I'm now working on the uh, not so many people interested in the, what is uh, degraded in uh, autophagy. We now we are working on the autophagy degraded um, RNA, messenger RNA, specifically some messenger RNA degraded by autophagy, some messenger RNA escaped from the degradation. So, and RNA degraded by uh, specific uh, nu nucleus and uh, uh, many, many enzymes in the vacuo. So we need what is the degradation product via autophagy and how it comes from the vacuo and what the influence of those metabolites and uh, uh, normal uh, metabolism. That is also important question. but. So far, not so many people working on that kind of subject. So that is a very important question for us right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next question, please. Sergei Pantuchov, I'm a teacher from a small village. In the 16th century, a traveler from Europe came to Russia, and he said that many people in Russia were eating not every day, but one day on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday they did not eat anything. And it was a norm. It was not religion. It was not fanatism. And he said that there were different people who did not eat for five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Could you comment on that? And maybe in Sintaism there is something similar to that. Uh, this afternoon I had made so many questions about uh, fasting is very uh, help to induce the autophagy, and that is uh, good for health. But my personal uh, answer for that kind of question is 
I don't, I don't, I have no uh, strict answer. Uh, we know the calorie restriction for mouse that uh, elongate the lifespan of mouse, but we have not direct evidence to it's uh, true for human. But uh, I can Im image the autophagy activity goes down during the aging, so uh, it, it might be possible autophagy activity will help to uh, hold health to or under during the aging. So, yeah, we need more careful analysis uh, about the how, what kind of fasting will help the induction of autophagy or keep the autophagic activity. We haven't, I, my opinion, we don't have the sufficient uh, scientific data for those kind of uh, uh, problems. So that is uh, uh, many people now working on that kind of subject. So we might have some good answer, but also it's pretty much depend on the lifestyle of the, some people. So we, I think it, we don't have a uh, strict answer for out of uh, fasting will help the health problem in human. I don't, I don't, I, I have a strict answer. I haven't right now. Sorry for your. Спасибо, Сергей, за ваш вопрос. Пожалуйста. Thank you for your question. Please ask the next one. My name is Sigurd. I'm a stomatologist. I'm a dentist. And uh, you tested that on mice. What was the time period? What was this? What the stages when autophagy in dynamics increased? When it starts working? What is the maximum period of activity of autophagy in hours? Uh, in this case, autophagy induction start quite uh, quickly under starvation condition. We can uh, measure the autophagy activity after 30 minutes. Easily, I can say autophagy occurs under uh, after 30 minutes. Even in mammary uh, case, uh, even more quick response occurs uh, autophagy induction. But in this case. Uh, if you continue the eating uh, our, our body cell, it's not good for survival of the cell. So autophagy should negatively regulate it. So in mammalian case, autophagy has showed show some this kind of the peak after several hours. So. Uh, we don't know exactly the negative regulation of autophagy yet, but surely enough, we should have this, uh, negative regulation that occurs within uh, several hours of autophagy induction in mammary case. Pre and also that might be depend on the cell type and the uh, physiological demands. That's my opinion. Thank you very much for your question. Please, next question. Alexander Chesovskoy, City of Tomsk, pharmaceutical company Art Life. Mr. Sumi, thank you very much for your great contribution to the study of uh, autophagy. It's a conceptual new approach to cure of cancer and diabetes. I would like to ask your opinion about some uh, vegetal, um, veg some vegetal uh, inhibi inhibitors, and I have a present for you, I have a gift for you. Uh, one of the complexes, which is an optimizer of autophagy, it's Russian, produ produced in Russia, Mega Pro H, the name of the complex. Спасибо. Yeah. Uh, there are several, uh, many papers, uh, some uh, vegetable uh, uh, related to the control of autophagy. 
So I'm not so familiar on that kind of subject. So yeah, probably we will find a good, uh, those are uh, regulator of autophagy. So those kind of uh, uh, systematic analysis will help to understand the regulation of autophagy, I'm sure. But I, I have no strict answer to your question. Yeah. Thank you very much for your question. We continue. Please ask your next question. Good afternoon. Good evening, Mr. Sumi. Thank you very much for your lecture. I have a question. In Russia and probably maybe in other country, in the UK, for example, there is a trend. Fasting. Fasting for health and cattle diet. And I have a question in this regard. What do you think about the keto diet? It's easy to... It, it, fastening, when you have a keto diet, it's very, fastening is very easy. That is why it's a trend and many people combine that. And I do the same. What is your opinion about that? Okay. I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not working on that kind of subject. So, uh, as I said, I have no strict answer to your question. And we need more uh, analysis to how fasting help. Uh, uh, and fasting itself make many, many effect on their uh, body. So I think autophagy might not be the only reason uh, fasting might help the health. So, yeah, I, as I said, I have no strict answer to your question. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the next question, please. A lady, first. Good evening. My name is Victoria. I'm a vegetarian portal representative again. And my question is, will be related to the name of the portal. Your discovery is a basis for different techniques and methods of so-called interval fasting. And uh, my question is, again, about time. Uh, it's intermittent fasting, for example. Which period, for, to your point of view, is the most flavorable for the body? And what negative consequences could occur in case of, let's say, not non-proper fasting, and especially when you are exiting from fasting? I have no uh, strict answer to your question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Probably many peop other people interested in their fast fasting. I understand, but I'm, I'm a basic researcher using the yeast cell. I believe that it's very important to understand the ba uh, basis of all regulation of autophagy, but I'm not working on the uh, problem of uh, fasting or uh, longevity by myself. So I, I cannot say a strict answer to your question. Or if you have the same question, I will repeat the same answer. OK. <laughs> Thank you very much for your question. We continue. A small comment on what Victoria said. I'm, I can say that probably uh, I'm fasting for 70 hours. 70 hours and I'm fine. I also a scientist as you. I study the social sciences. 
Uh, and uh, I do understand that uh, as a scientist you cannot say what you think is true, but you got to prove the facts and uh, based on the studies uh, you and your colleagues do in that field. Uh, but uh, my question is to you, is uh, there anything based on what we now know for sure that anyone in this uh, audience can uh, do to induce some autophagy and uh, make their life a little bit better? Thank you. And uh, I also request, uh, would you sign up a book for me after the lecture? Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm, as I said, yeah, I have no strict <laughs> <laughs> answers. Yeah. Okay. But you know the mechanisms. Идем далее. Ответ получен. Shall we continue? Next question, please. Thank you very much for such an interesting lecture, Professor Asumi. I'm a doctor, I'm a surgeon, colloportologist. I would ask you a question. In the past, after surgery, with metabolic disorders, we recommended our patients not to eat, not to start eating, to, to have some period of fasting. But lately, American scientists publish the fast track method when patients with uh, metabolic disorders are asked to eat as soon as possible. and to return to normal life as soon as possible. What do you think about fasting and uh, autophagy mechanisms when you have some metabolic disorders? Yeah, as I said, I do not want to say anything about the fasting at this moment. Yeah, yeah it's possible, so we, we should have more uh, uh, studies on the fasting on the autophagy. I have no answer. And a small question. All the scientists, when they study something, they pass through the peaks and going down. They have successful results and non-successful results. Did you have any unsuccessful results? Where you, where, when you could not achieve the results you wanted to have? Of course, science, we, we do not always get a good result, but those kind of uh, bad results doesn't mean anything, uh, doesn't mean anything uh, something. So it is very important to have a bad, uh, unexpected result. That, will help to understand the next step. Yeah. Thank you very much. And the next question, please. Hello, Mr. Sumi. My name is Karina. I'm 42 years old and I'm interested in longevity. Do you think it's possible to compare autophagy and wild nature, nature. Uh, scavengers, do I get it right that fasting makes healthy cells to be more active and weak and hazardous cells are eating themselves or they are removed somehow? Uh, do I get it right that autophagy is a process for disposal and or re recycling unnecessary cells, like uh, these birds uh, eat dead animals. <laughs> yeah. This was an answer. My apologies. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dear friends, we have Uh, dear friends, if you have a different question from other sphere with other specifics, please welcome. In general, if uh, you, we have already asked these questions, please, three or four questions maximum, and uh, we will thank our speaker. Hello. I would like to thank you for a wonderful lecture. Thank you for coming to our country. My name is Denis Hanin. I have two short questions. There, I had more questions, but you asked not to ask these questions. Number one, what do you think? Is autophagy process standard in, for all living bodies, for all the living organisms all over the world? And the second question will be a little bit similar. Can we say that the process of autophagy depends on many factors. For example, if we talk about fasting, if a person is in stress situation, it's stressed, it will have toned system, autophagy will work differently or will not occur. Do you think that the process of autophagy depends on many factors? physiological, psychological factors. And the first question is about standard. Uh, is autophagy standard uh, similar uh, for all living creatures? Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I'm a cell biologist. The standing point of my study is uh, 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 basic function of cell is so well con uh, conserved from yeast to mammalian cell. That's the reason I started one autophagy when using yeast, and that is a more simple, uh, quick question to ask. And second question you said, the autophagy might be uh, induced by various kind of the, uh, stimulus. For example, even starvation, we do not know what the difference between nitrogen starvation induced autophagy, carbon starvation induced autophagy, or uh, I'm sure there must be different mechanisms to induce autophagy, various uh, stimulus or physiological condition. So um, in my lab now working using yeast, uh, what kind of stimulation, uh, what is degrade, actually degraded? Uh, what is the degradation product by both those kind of different stimulation, uh, stimulation stimulus or, or, uh, induced autophagy. So we need more uh, uh, systematic analysis to answer your question. Thank you very much, dear friends. Please be critical to your questions. So the question could be understandable, and so our speaker could answer your questions. Thank you very much. My name is Evgenia. Uh, I am practicing fasting for more than 11 years, and in March this year, I started a very successful project, Fasting Marathon. More than 1,000 people took part in this marathon, together with me, now a specialist, and I have a question in this regard. Do you have an experience of cooperation with Russian scientists in this sphere of autophagy? It would be great for me to meet a scientist from Russia who is investigating this issue. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I studied the uh, I studied the international autophagy uh, conference uh, more than ten years ago. It's the biggest and the most important uh, conference. In, but I never have a, a Russian uh, scientist come to this meeting. That's the reason I don't know uh, uh, much about their autophagy research in this country. So uh, that kind of a communication is very important to develop a new field. So I hope. Uh, in the near future, uh, Russian people uh, communicate 
so often lead to many, many other countries. That's my uh, hope. Yeah. Спасибо большое. Мы будем работать в этом направлении. Thank you very much. We will do our best. Thank you for your question. Two questions, please. Good evening. My name is Anna. Thank you very much for your lecture. I have a provo provocative question. I believe that many people are here because you were introduced as an author of unique interval fasting methodology. And I believe that many people, that is why many people are need to know that you are not dealing with fastening and uh, you do not invent, did not invent any technique of fasting and that it's not something scientific. You were just introduced like a specialist of fasting. What's the question? You, you were, can you hear me? You were you, you heard a lot of questions about fasting. It is because it was announced that you can see on the screen, it says that Yesenaria Sumi Scientist Nobel Laureate offer of the fasting technique. You are introduced as offer of fasting technique. Probably you should say that you are not the author of the intermittent fasting technique and your research is not dealing with fasting. It's not related with the scientific view. This, is, this was my question. Uh, all I want to say is that I never said that uh, Fasting is uh, important for uh, activate autophagy, and also that is good for health. I never said that kind of thing. This uh, definitely. So, something. Yeah, uh, my opinion changes. <laughs> yeah. So, well, changes uh, somewhere. So it's a mistake. Yeah. Thank you very much. I believe that many people will be grateful to you, especially representatives of scientific community. And I believe that it's a problem of not only Russian side, but also these methods with your name, they are around the planet. I believe that we should tell the truth. Thank you for those who support me. Thank you. And the last question. Please. Professor Maximov, Academy of Postgraduate Training. I am studying fasting and placenta therapy for many years and placenta therapy is developed in Japan. Do you think it's developed in Japan? And uh, did you study uh, placental therapy in terms of autophagy? Uh, as I said, I'm just working on the East so. One more question, please. Why do you think the Nobel Committee gave you the prize? Could you tell us a prov provocative question? Why the Nobel Prize was given to you? What are the reasons? What? Why the Nobel Prize was given to you? Yeah, uh, my, I want to say that basic biology is very important to uh, evoke one uh, field. So my autophagy research using yeast 
uh, stimulate the autophagy field. And that these are discovery of AT genes and their function. They solved a lot about the molecular mechanism of autophagy. Well, we need those kind of basic research to understand what is autophagy. And that those kind of studies stimulate the autophagy field to become a so big field in cell biology. That's my opinion. Большое спасибо, дорогие друзья. Thank you very much, dear friends, Mr. Asumi. In Russia, дамы и господа, ваши громкие аплодисменты. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Asumi, Nobel laureate, a round of applause to him. We are about to finish this day in our whole but can I remind you that tomorrow we have here tomorrow at 8 o'clock we are waiting for you at Botkin Hall during the whole day there will be different topics discussed of working of the nurse in different spheres of medicine 9.45 there will be Alexei Hripun, professor minister of the government of Moscow head of uh, head health department of Moscow this is why we are welcome you tomorrow during the whole day see you tomorrow we will the best of luck and be healthy. See you next time. Our assembly continues. We have two more days to go. And of course, pleasant meetings. Thank you very much for being here at this wonderful lecture. And thanks to Mr. Asumi very much. See you tomorrow.